What's going on, guys? My name is Jay Jail. I'm over at Fast Break, and we are here with Heaven on Earth. I'd like everybody to introduce themselves. Make some noise for yourselves. Come on. Let's start with 3-5 from the east side. What's up, man? 3-5 from the east side. And then who else have we got in the collective? Young Sauce. Yeah. Juice Bangers. Enzo Grant. Garnell Watts, a.k.a. Kilowatts. Kleso, nice to meet you guys. My name is uh, Not Clyde, aka the Bay. Uh huh. My name is AC, aka Mixed by AC. Bromar. My name is A3, go by A3. And Seven on Earth, nice to finally meet you, bro. The project you had with Enzo was amazing. I was just telling him about it earlier. I was really happy to hear it. Now, how long was this collective in the works before it was finally announced? Uh, about like two and a half years, two and some change, I feel. Two and some change. And about how long ago was it when you guys were finally like, all right, like this is officially set, it's ready to go. Like we have it last week. <laughs> huh? Yeah. I think our first vision meeting was in 2021, September. 2021. That was our first vision meeting, but we were, we were together. I think we had been formed. I think a month before that in August. Yeah. And with that process, obviously, you know, you guys are all different. Like, there's something you all individually bring to the table. There's going to be ups and downs. But earlier, I was actually watching the Track Stars interview, and you guys were talking about how Kles was pulling up to people, talking to them, telling them, like, yo, you like hip hop and everything. So, with that being said, what are some of the best memories you guys have had so far? Like, creating music together, even just kicking it. Best what are memories? some highlights? Best memories. Oh my Me? My, one of, so, one of my, my favorite memory. One of my favorite memories is um, there's a devil in this house. Oh, yeah. So we were we were in uh, we were in Blue Ridge. Is it called Blue Ridge? Yeah. We were in Blue Ridge. Um, we were in Blue Ridge. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the camera. So we were in Blue Ridge. We were at a camp. This is the second camp. We were at the second camp, and we started breaking out into uh, like a theater, like performance, a musical play, and it was like there's a devil in this house. So there's like there was a devil here. And then it was just story of like Jesus coming to like redeem and like, 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 pretty much like destroy the the the, the devil, and so we like played it out. It was like all like spontaneous, and then it was like opera. Who was Jesus? No, 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 no. I I was. No, 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 no. Romar was Romar was the devil. So Romar Romar played as the devil in our play, um, and then I think one of us was Jesus, and then. We were just reenacting it. I was Jesus? Yes. Oh, I was Jesus. I was the angel. So then, actually, fun fact, in the digital music video, um, I think we were thinking of that, that moment. And so since Romar played the There's a Devil in This House, and it was like Jesus coming down, like beating up Romar. So Romar did the same dance moves in digital, and he did this thing. And people in the comments were like, oh, this is Illuminati because so someone's doing the devil horns. They always bring the conspiracy theories. But really, the every time. But yeah. really, it was a play about Jesus destroying the devil. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Little did they know. Uh, one of my favorite memories was Juice sleeping. They made a beat out of his snore. You need a mic. Yeah, Juice. Yeah. Did yeah, that they make the album, though? They caught bro sleeping. They made a beat out of bro snoring. It almost made the album, but it got cut. Cut last second. Just that, bro. They were messing with like putting pillows and water bottles and stuff all over. Oh, he's the we heaviest sleeper, so we stack like three or four chairs on top of him, and he didn't wake up. We so tried to do like a Jenga, like a block. Like are there pics of this? Yeah. Are there pics of this? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna send you a pic so you can put it. All right. So I shouldn't leak that. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely should. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you guys were having fun creating this album, obviously, with how big this collective is. There's going to come with a lot of memories, especially with two years. Now, we're going to go into the listening party in just a little bit. What is to expect from this album? I mean, digital was something else. But is that more of what we're going to get on the album, or is there a variety? So, to be honest, and digital was really, I guess, respectfully, it's a great song, but it's not even on the album. Yeah, it was kind of like... I wouldn't Lucy. say it was a Lucy. It was a it was a Lucy record. Okay. Yeah. It was the last song. It was the last song we made, just kind of like a Lucy. But this album is gonna be. 
Yeah, I think it's just top tier. Like nothing's touching it. Like sonically, creatively, content wise, it's it's just amazing. Just like twelve amazing people coming together to bring something beautiful. Yeah, I, I think the I think the there's a portion of the album where we're like it's like very very Christ driven and like very second half of the album and it's very like up front it's not a like we're trying to hide it or anything and we're very 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 upfront on that so it's very very intentional with that and man from the beginning from the bible studies to everything we were trying to like kind of be very intentional with that so uh i think personally i felt like because this was two years ago right or like a year and a half ago i was still and i'm still am but like i'm on the come up you know, compared to everyone in here in this room, um, and I felt like I had like a like something to prove. So I think you're gonna hear that a lot. You know, I think I'm on seven songs, seven songs on this on ten track album. From the jump, uh, I have like the first verse on the project, and then the second song. You know, you're, you're gonna hear it right now, everybody that's here. But you know, I think it, just for me personally, you got I have this hunger that I just wanted to introduce people to who I was. And I think it's, it's gonna yeah. be cool. Uh, second track, second track. Daughter Dame, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and not only that, I feel like everyone has a highlight in the album. It's like no, not one person's like left out or something like that. Like if someone has a little more than somebody else, everyone still has a highlight in the album, and it shows everybody's talent and creativity on this whole album. And this is an album from all of us. Yeah, I would also say like it's not even like different artists coming together it's like a new artist like it's a new artist that was birthed from all of us the six artists the three producers like it was crazy so it's like we can't even say like what is to be expected because it's something new from everybody so yeah it's crazy yeah. and i think i can speak for everyone that we're excited but this is at the end of the day hip-hop <laughs> now with that being said it is competitive and i think with all of us having that competitive spirit who do you guys think had the stand-up performance on the album? Like, was there one performance where it's like, nah, like, this is probably, like, everyone. no one? Everyone just went, like, everyone, everyone, like, went crazy? I think you'll see, like, it's not an exaggeration that everyone has their moment. You know what I'm saying? Whether yeah. and it's, like, ushering a whole different vibe to the whole second half of the album, like what Aiden got to do, um, or, like, stand-up verses, like, each person has their time. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Like, each person... At the moment, we, we all had, like, we went through our, like, we have a group chat, and I we literally started, like, saying, like, our favorite moments from the album, and it was, like, whether it was, like, Caleb's verse here, Caleb Mitchell's verse, he's, he's not here right now, shout out to Caleb New Jersey, but um, Caleb's verse here, uh, this production here, this verse, you know, RG's uh, verse here, like, there's something, like, for everybody that everything's, like, stand out, just because we always had this intention of doing something collectively, not individuals like going at each other yes i had that hunger but a hunger to like provide something to this group you know what i mean yeah right. and then also like um another thing is like i'm aware that we have artists and producers and obviously me as an engineer like from the verses to the recording to the mixing and to the writing of everything everyone had a hand and it's not like that person intentionally just wrote it it's kind of like everyone was in unity to get this done so that's why it's an album by heaven on earth not by 350 or something like that like right. specific people it's literally all of us had a hand together so yeah yeah like we're entirely a new artist like like i know a lot of people look at the group as oh individual rappers and different things it's like heaven on earth is its own like aiden said a3 said like it's its own person so what you expect from a 350 album, you're not necessarily going to see that, or from my album, or you're going you're gonna to see us do things that we may not have done regularly, but it, it's authentically us. Yeah, or and something, it's authentically something that only exists on heaven on earth. Exactly. You know, which is exciting because it's like, you're not going to hear this kind of a cleso on his own. Like, it only exists in heaven on earth, you know what I mean? That's what cool. you expect is heaven on earth. We not like the rest. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Leaks, 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 leak it. No, I love that, honestly, because this, just the way that you guys are describing it from the few moments that I've gotten a chance to hear some snippets out there, you guys are spot on. And I think the people are in for a huge, huge surprise. I'm glad that you guys spent your time with it. I heard that uh, it was kind of hard to 
keep it under the wraps like you guys had to get these camps like away from like everyone so it was just like involved with you guys like what were some of the most like out of pocket stuff that you guys had to do to like make sure that nobody found out about it oh rj's birthday by far <laughs> romar's okay so our, yeah but it was like the last camp right yeah, yeah. yeah when we it was finished, finished heaven on earth we're finishing it up and um and we did content all that stuff videos and it was romar's romar's birthday party and all like friends who didn't know about the project came to his house for his birthday party and mind you kyle's from vancouver i'm from miami like caleb's from jersey juice is from mississippi you know what i mean aiden you hadn't moved yet so he was in texas so like we're not all supposed to be there in a room so we get there people are like yo what are you doing here wait what are you doing here what hey what's going on and then our friend greg our friend Greg, um, uh, Greg Castell, he's a writer. He writes for like Ear Milk um, and other dope publish, uh, publications. He was like, yo, what's going on here? Are you guys forming some kind of collective or something? And he's like, I saw the tattoo. I saw it. And we were just like, oh, no, nah, man. We just. We got, you know. Oh, New Hollywood was finishing oh, at New the Hollywood, time, too. Oh, New Hollywood, yeah. That was an excuse that we had, too. Bro, well, it was ugly because a lot of the people were still upstairs. And so all the friends and extra guests were downstairs. All the extra friends and, and guests were downstairs, and we tell them, we, we, we text the group chat like, yo, guys, be mindful, da 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 we're not the only ones at this, at this birthday party, like, have a good alibi. And it's ugly, because everyone came down one by one. <laughs> not even all together. Like, it would, be, it would be Kles walking down the stairs like, oh! <laughs> And we're like, oh, what are you doing? And then it'd be Caleb walking down like, oh, what are you doing? It was so ugly. And and it was cool because it was a birthday party, but in, in a sense, we were also celebrating the finish, the finishing of the album too. So it's like two celebrations for us as well. It was pretty cool. Uh, it, I can't even imagine like what you guys had to do. Like that's just some of the stories, but I can't even imagine like any other moments that you guys had where it was like we gotta keep this under wraps. Like everything we gotta do to make sure that this is just done right and it comes out when it's supposed to come out. Now I want to switch it up. We've been talking a lot about the album, but I do want to play a little game if you guys are down. Start, bench, or cut. All right. We're gonna start with some simple. All right. Start, bench, or cut. Drake, J Cole, or Kendrick. Start, bench, or cut? Yep. I mean, I've been listening to Drake since Room for Improvement, so I'm starting Drake. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to bench. Uh, I think I, I gotta bench Kendrick and I gotta cut J Cole. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Same answer, RG. I'm I'm starting. I'm starting Kendrick. Benching Drake. I gotta cut Cole. Everyone's cutting Cole. Is that kind of the agreement at this point? We're cutting Cole for this one? All right. Yeah, we're Romar, all cutting Cole. You got, Romar, you got any input on it? Start, bench, or cut? What's that? Start, bench, or cut Cole, Drake, or Kendrick? Uh, I'd start Drake. I'd, um. Oh, man, this is mean, bro. Start, start Drake. Um, I'd have Drake at point guard, Cole at shooting guard, <laughs> and uh, Kendrick uh, at center. All right, we got another one. Now, who here watches anime? Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. All right, all right. You guys, are you guys sure? That's a trap, bro. You guys sure you want to do this? Okay, okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Start, bench, or cut. Okay. Attack on Titan. Oh. Demon Slayer. Oh. Or My Hero Academia. Oh, I, got I got you. Starting My Hero. Okay. What? Yeah. Whoa, 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 hold on. We counting manga? Ooh, the manga's crazy. That's tough, bro. I know. Yeah, leave me out of this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Starting Demon Slayer. Yeah. Ooh, wow. Ooh. Benching Attack on Titan. Oh. And my hero got to go. I'll have to go with that. Wait, no, no, no. Listen, listen. I'll go. Okay, go, go. Starting Attack on Titan, the greatest five seasons anime's ever seen. Benching my hero because the manga is slept on and Demon that Slayer. Is, no, it's still, no, it is a shonen. No, 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 it is no, a I'm classic shonen. Cut. I'm with you. So I haven't even seen um, AOT, but I kind of I know everything that happens to the end. 
So, but so I'd have to go start AOT, and then I would have to um, bench my hero, and I would have to cut Demon Slayer. You know why? Because you know why? Because because I know how it ends. Manga, manga. So what tell happens him, in him, the tell end? Him. Tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him. I'm don't playing. Do it, don't I'm do it, don't do it. <laughs> But my yeah, theory, he here's, re- here's a reason, is my theory for how it should have ended is way better than how it actually ended. Somebody, somebody burp. One last one with the anime, and we're going to go even more in depth, all right? We're talking these three animes, right? So who are you starting, benching, and cutting for the main characters? Deku, Tanjiro, Aaron Yeager. What are we doing? Aaron Yeager. Aaron Yeager, you got us. You I think you gotta start Deku. Aaron right? Yeager's start and cut. Oh, he read it. Did he know? I think you, you gotta <laughs> start cut and bench. <laughs> you gotta start Deku. I even though I think the other shows are better, Deku as a character is phenomenal. Yeah. His quirks are crazy. Yeah, I think you gotta bench. That's a you got to bench Tanjiro, and you got to, you got to cut Aaron. Aaron? But, no, cut. But, hey, but no spoilers, please. I'm about to spoil right now, so look, this is what happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I will do the same. I will start Deku. I will okay. bench um, uh, Tanjiro, and I would cut Aaron Yeager, because that's, that's destiny. That's destiny. The thing about, the thing about um, sorry, I'm about to nerd out. When have I started the, here? The thing about... Tanjiro is there's no he's like a flat character. Yeah. Exactly. He's a he's a flat character like he's not he's how he starts to animate character-wise and development, he stays the same. Whereas you see a lot of uh, character development in Deku and you see a lot of character development in Eren. There's crazy, crazy character crazy development. So crazy. Crazy character development. But I haven't even finished that yet. The fighting in Demon Slayer is amazing. The animation is amazing. Yeah, the animation is fire. And I feel like we could go all day with that Back, topic. Somebody say. But I think we can all agree that it is a tough one to handle because these are practically the b- new big three of anime. I mean, yeah, sure. Dragon Ball, all that. It's like it's the old ones. Now we got the new ones. One Piece, Bleach. Bleach is, Bleach coming, is back. coming back. Hunter Hunter's coming back. Thank God. DBZ be is going to be doing do, uh, superhero or something like that. Right? One Piece is doing a live action. Yeah. Which the cast actually looks decent. I'm, I'm surprised. Yep. But with all that being said, uh, I appreciate the time that you guys have given. I appreciate the moment that those that don't watch anime took to <laughs> let us go through this moment. <laughs> but is there anything else that you guys want to give uh, before tonight starts, before everybody gets to listen to the album, and before have, has the date already been, you know, given? Has oh, it been leaked yet? Yeah, uh, Heaven on Earth, the self-titled album, Heaven on Earth, <laughs> is dropping on Friday, June 30th. Sure. Have an art, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate the time you've given.